Hello, this is John Kanalopoulos from our office here in Athens, Greece. Uh, happy to share with you this interesting case. This is a 48 year old lady now that um, 23 years ago underwent the PRK um, here in Greece to correct myopia and it was complicated by significant scarring. We can see some um, reticular, very mild reticular haze in her right eye and a uh, higher mag here. We can also see some iron deposition here within the cornea, her, uh, she's pseudophagic now, and her uh, best corrected is uh, almost 2020. She's uncorrected 2025. And the reason I'm sharing this case with you is the uh, great value of uh, cornea epithelial mapping. We can see here in uh, the OptiView anterior segment uh, OCT, uh, how, the, how nature has healed the significant cornea irregularity. See how irregular and how that haze is depicted here in the anterior extremely regular stroma um, and uh, how uh, the epithelium has remodeled to fill in the gaps and give us a, a, a smooth and mild surface. This is the epithelium map on her left eye, the cornea thickness map of the left eye, which has not had cataract surgery, uh, actually has not had uh, PRK surgery. And this is the uh, cornea epithelium in the left eye, which looks absolutely normal. And uh, I'll just share with you the um, cumulative maps with the brilliant, brilliant nine millimeter OptiView OCT. We can see here the total cornea map does show the uh, ablation. The cornea is tend a little bit here compared to the left. We're seeing the um, cross section here, as I described before, and very interesting, the epithelial mapping uh, showing the gaps filled in uh, from the stromal irregularity by the epithelium and how nature has the plasticity so even in these extremely irregular corneas that we encountered back then where laser surgery were in primitive steps uh, is able to be uh, corrected. If this patient was symptomatic, obviously, and this patient improved with the rigid gas permeable contact lens, we would offer uh, today a topography guided uh, PRK normalization um, using the epithelium as a, um, a buffer medium and just going down probably 70 microns uh, if we're seeing thickest here uh, at 70 microns to um, smoothen the stromal surface and use also my C. This is John Canalopoulos sharing with you a quite interesting case here today, illustrating the importance of cornea epithelial mapping and anterior segment OCT. Thank you so much.